this is uh, Michigan's first 3D printed home. And you will find it in Detroit, located at 1444 Sheridan Street. A lot of benefits to uh, the type of construction using 3D concrete printing. On Friday, Fox 2 cameras were rolling as painters and a plumber maneuvered to complete their final work. The house just hit the market. The asking price, $224,500. We're not designing for two by fours or two by sixes anymore. Now we have the freedom of design to use the robot to print curvature, to print texture. Uh, we can decide how much cavity we want in the wall. That precision and details eliminates waste. This definitely saved a ton of, of material. Citizen Robotics is behind this single story, 988 square foot home, which has two bedrooms and one bathroom and an attic space that can be used for storage. The organization seeks to reduce the cost of housing construction through the adaption of robotic construction techniques. So who's the ideal homeowner? Anybody interested in, in a, a home that is going to be resilient and that is going to be efficient. This is an all electric house. We also have a zero threshold entrance off to the side. So uh, somebody in a wheelchair would be able to enter the home with, with no problem. Advocates of the 3D printed home say this construction process is also better for the environment. The material scientists out there are, are developing numerous kinds of concrete that use less carbon to produce. Some may argue that a price tag of nearly $225,000 is a lot for this type of construction, but those who advocate for it say it will actually save you money over time. This house is super airtight. Uh, its energy efficiency is going to lessen the cost of ownership over time for that homeowner. So there's huge savings to be had. And if you purchase the home, you're riding the wave of the future. We're still building with sticks. Why is that? Um, we think that there's a, a better, more efficient, more cost effective way for the future of home building. Um, and we just want to be a part of that. In Detroit, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.